Filipovic. Comfortable for Cummings, but it's another sight on the Scotland goal for Serbia. Yeah, comfortable, and then for, for Ertha Cummings there, she done well to, to hold on to the ball, because you can see Damjanovic looking to, to capitalise on, on any spillages, but again, Scotland not getting close enough um, to, to those Serbian players on, on the edge of the box and allowing shots on, on Ertha Cummings' goal. A frustrating first half for Scotland. Can they finish the first half with a shine? Evans teases it in. Thomas, did you get the touch? And turned in by Kirsty Hansen. She's made her mark in recent Scotland campaigns. She scored in the 4 1 victory at Hamden against Israel. And she opens the scoring on what had been a frustrating first half so far for Pedro Martinez Losa. But with just a few minutes to play in the first half, it's Scotland 1, Serbia 0. A lovely passage of play there from, from Scotland. Uh, a dink from, from Erin Cuthbert down the, the channel. And, and Lisa Evans does well to, to get that ball into the danger area. And Kirsty Hansen, you always ask your opposite wide player to, to come in on the opposite side at the back post, and she does exactly that and gets her rewards. A fourth goal and a 30-second cap for Kirsty Hansen. And it's a goal that sends the Scotland fans into celebration on a big night at Fur Hill. Now Corsi. Doherty searching for Hansen. She's away from the first defender and Thomas just couldn't take it in. Doherty slides to win the ball. Martha Thomas, a big part in Scotland's goals recently, getting her name on the score sheet. She's really been the creator tonight so far in the first half and away, Joel. A couple of nice touches, a couple of nice moves around the penalty area. And that front post run opened up the space for Kirsty Hansen to score. Emsley scoring. A double on Friday. Hansen scoring tonight. She looks to provide this time. The header is there from Evans. Kostic came out for it. And Scotland getting closer again. Just to look to see through this final minute as Kirsty Smith plays the pass in for Cuthbert. Smith, remember, hitting the crossbar early on in this half. Damjanovic given the opportunity. Corsi sees it through safely. Thomas with the touch. Cuthbert picks up. Serbia pressure, though, wins the ball back. It's Ivanovic. Jana Ivanovic drags it wide. The young forward that most recently plays their football in Norway. Scotland don't want to give those kind of chances up. <laughs> Looked away by Chelsea Corner. He made that front post move. Rachel Corsi is asking the question of the referee. She felt the last touch was off a Serbia player. And here they go. And the substitute is waiting free in the penalty box. Cummings is happy to watch that one trickle wide, but she will not be happy at the amount of space that Cheric got there as an introduction to the game. That was a big, big Serbia chance. A massive chance, Stuart, and like you said, too much time and space in the 18-yard box um, for, for Cheric, and she probably wishes that that had potentially have fallen to her after she'd maybe got her first and second touch um, in this game. But, yeah, a massive let-off for, for Scotland there. Milivojevic. Goliath couldn't get there before the sliding Nicola Doherty. Yeah, strong challenge here from, from Nicola Doherty, and one she had to make because there was certainly an overload on that Scottish back line. Here's Cornet for Cuthbert. Eddie Cuthbert! Strong hand from Alicia Kostic. Erin Cuthbert denied another goal for Scotland on her 70th cap. 
nice reverse ball there from, from Chelsea corner into to Erin Cuthbert and fantastic save from the goalkeeper. I thought she would have went far side, she's went near side and the keeper's done well. Kirsty Smith will not be able to continue. Uh, very sad end to her big night and a big save from Ertha Cummings there. Allegra Poyak closed down by a combination of Doherty and Emsley. So let's run through that chance once more. It comes from the Serbia throw. Milivojevic was chasing. And Cankovic It's a difficult position to strike from, but she really tested Ertha Cummings there. She did. She wraps her foot round the ball extremely well and gets a lot of power on that shot. And Ertha Cummings certainly needs to be on her toes um, on, on that occasion. Full time, it's Scotland's success. A winning finish to the group stage in Euro 2025 qualifying, but it also means that Scotland shoot back up to League A amongst Europe's best. They're unbeaten too. Kirsty Hansen scoring the goal for a 1 0 victory inside Fir Hill. Table toppers in League B, sight set on Switzerland and a Euro 2025 playoff to come in October for Pedro Martinez Losa and Scotland. It finishes at Fir Hill in Scotland's final Group B match. Scotland 1, Serbia 0.